All right, what up, investors? You know what's going to be happening with B, the Virgin Galactic uh, the ticker SPCE millionaires coming out already with, they, of course, with crazy leaps and options they bought in 2021 and 2022. And we're going to dive into on the percentage gains and exactly what happened. Um, I had the post here. We'll slide that over here on the main screen. Uh, we're looking at HR01. Um, this guy is saying he's 50 years old. He lives in a tax exempt or tax is tax exempt income state, meaning he probably lives in like Florida, Arizona, uh, where he only has, doesn't have to pay for taxes. It's actually coming out of his 410k, um, and he's kind of thinking about not taking much off the table and constantly just pushing and going for it. Um, that being said, a lot of people you can read in the comments down below saying, bro, that's life changing money. Take some off and let the little bit run. Uh, some <laughs> in a, not put, call them the R word and things like that, but it just needs to take those profits. Please, man, don't be silly. Don't be stupid. You got to take that money. That is a blessing. Um, nearly peaking at $2.1 million at peak. Um, here, we're going to drag over the screenshots that he provided. So then we'll be diving into Tastyworks to look at these options that he bought. So we're looking at the uh, January 15th of 2021. And then we're looking for the 21st of January 2020. Uh, and then back to the, t the 20 is for 20. So basically he bought, these are different strike prices. So he bought the, the 20, the 15, 17 and a half and 20 strike price. And on the first screen out here, you can see the PL percentage gain. Um, of course the, the, one of the lower ones and the much further outdated 17 point, 17 dollars and 50 cents gained about 2000%. Um, then you kind of see here uh, the overall uh, market change for each of the options, op part of each of the options, basically paying little to 99 cents or a or a dollar or a hundred dollars per contract, and then coming in to well over five, and you can just see that across the board and his end out total. Again, he hasn't sold anything, he hasn't updated that on the post but 1.586 million dollars in space uh, virgin galactic stock isn't that uh quite amazing and so we're gonna look at the stock today it has made a heck of a run we're gonna put it back on the daily chart here it's made a heck of a run just today gapping up oh the high of the day was 38.72 um coming back down all the way to like 28.57. Uh, we're gonna break this down to a slightly 15 minute chart of today, and then we can kind of get a more of a breakdown of what exactly happened. Coming out of the, the gates, even the pre-market, it was getting higher than the close of the previous trading day, which is actually wasn't Monday, it was Friday, uh, and that was closed around $28, and it just went up from there. Breaking the 38-ish dollars uh, right before 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and then kind of slowly coming back down and a lot of people getting out once it broke like 30. It just had a pretty with between like in that of like 30 minutes of goes to 33 dollars to basically 28 but then kind of leveling off and closing into the close and then a little bit after the hours after hours trading it's around 31 20 so Still huge modest gains. Um, as you see this huge trigger right here in the middle, I always comment on that, meaning that is a lot of people who are just selling uh, off. And that's usually due to uh, insiders or hedge funds who have been long in or stuff like that. They just want to get out of that position here. Or it could be also the flip side of a lot of shorts. Um, that's when they get the call of like, hey, you guys have been shorting the stock since uh, $10, and it's now three times the price. Uh, I think it's time to give back those back those shorts to the market. Um, looking at where we came from, we initially said it was going to hit like 32, 33. That's kind of where it is now. Um, I feel like this. Any again, anything in the stock market can happen. It can continue to run higher. It can come crashing down. I don't know. I don't have the crystal ball. 
Um, I don't think anyone has a crystal ball. But that being said, all we do know is they have earnings on the 25th, which is basically uh, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. So one week from now, they'll have earnings. So that being said, it's going to be the first earnings call. There's going to be a lot of hype behind it. There's going to be a lot of stuff going into it. There could be a sell-off into the earnings. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I have my alerts here ready on the go. Um, I would, l again, I'm st I still own the stock. Uh, I did sell off about 25% today, around 34, 35. Uh, and that was, I just, it, it just ran up so much because I bought it in around 18, 1850 that uh, just sell a little bit off just to be, because if it did come crashing down, I wouldn't be able to live myself. And my policy is if you make 45, 50% within two weeks, you got to trim some off just to be on the safe side. Um, so that being said, going from here, I have no idea. Um, I have my markers here. This this is kind of going to be like very parabolic like Tesla was, but the the, the, the fundamentals behind this is going to be significantly different than Tesla, but the FOMO hype train is very much the same premise um, within this stock. So we'll see what's going to happen. Uh, I did show, I want to show these options here for uh, SPCE, so Virgin Galactic. Um, uh, our man bought leaps in uh, January 15th and January 21st, year 2021, and then year 2022. So he basically bought the 17 and a half leaps, so basically at an extremely cheap price. So here they're basically closing out today um, at like $15. Uh, and we can go back, actually, let's do that within Think or Swim. We can go back and see that price history so let's just confirm the one the largest position he had was the the january 21st and the january 21st and he had the 17 yeah 17 and a half yeah there that yeah, look at that that's that's gosh darn that guy didn't know say when he bought them but again this thing was at the lowest at the lowest end um, it was for all this hype train. It was trading up maybe at two hundred dollars or two dollars, um, and then going all the way up to twenty three at the very tippy tippy top today. So that's quite phenomenal uh, trading there or investing. So basically, and let's just do our line right here. Do, 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 do. Come on, man. Go here to the very tippy top. Yeah, this that kind of equates to he probably bought it around the two. A dollar seventy-five, or in one hundred seventy-five to two hundred dollars down here, and then closing out around fifteen or fourteen dollars up here as well. Um, that's just <laughs> absolutely crazy amount of uh, the, this these leaps on how far and how much money. Um, basically, turning if you just had one, just one of these uh, contracts, you're paying two hundred, and then. Now you're getting twenty three dollars for something you paid two dollars for. All right, like that's that's crazy. But, but we're talking, what is that? Twenty three hundred dollars? That's no, 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 no. That's just it's insane. Like again, the lowest it did trade, but again, this is when it came public such a far long time ago was the seventy five cents. So seventy five cents. Uh, we'll do some. All right, looking at the calculations, it looked like he did post a couple other updates. This is the update after hours. You can kind of see here with the overall more accurate percentages here on the P&L on how much his return was. Overall is around 1100% uh, return on cash. Um, again, that's, that's open P&L. He hasn't disclosed if he's sold out or anything like that. Um, but that's a pretty substantial amount of money. Um, again, this was on the guy's 401k, so he basically uh, had a nice little lump sum already built up. And again, he stated that he's 50 years old, so I'm pretty sure he had a nice little nest egg built up, depending on what his uh, actions were previous to that. But that being said, uh, that is quite impressive. One hell of a trade. Uh, would love to see more of this stuff. 
Uh, we'll see what happens with uh, Virgin Galactic going into earnings next week. If you guys, any guys, predictions down below, is it going to the moon? Is it coming, crashing back down? Who knows what's going to happen? All we know is that it has had a monster run. It's actually pretty hard to borrow up here. You can kind of see here what that means is as a high premium and there's not many shorts available to purchase uh, in the open market. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Ken from the Dyslexic Investor. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.